first radio gig was in Orlando, Florida. It was an AM station. I think it was W-O-R-L, if I remember the call letters correctly. I think I did a gig, don't laugh, but I had a, I was a station in Orlando called BJ-105. <laughs> that was my FM debut in Orlando, Florida. Came to New York, my first radio gig in New York was High 97, believe it or not, man. I was doing a show uh, with the Furious Five called The Mic Check Show. They had a run for about a year or two up there doing this like freestyle calling stuff like that. So that was on Hot 97. I was like I'm talking like early 90s, maybe 94, something like that. Uh, hooked up with Power 105. Um, well, besides doing guest spots and like BLS and stuff like that, you know, I did Power 105 for about three, four years. That was in 2005. I got down with them. No, no, I got down with Power 105 around 2000 and. Maybe 2002. And then um, I'm on Sirius Shea 45 now, six years. I started that 2005. The opportunity came up. I had a pretty good relationship with Paul Rosenberg and Eminem and these guys. Um, I actually DJed for Eminem on Saturday Night Live. And um, I've, I had a relationship with them, like through the mixtapes and appearances that he's done on my albums, stuff like that. So. You know, when they got their own station, man, they, you know, seven days a week, you know what I mean? They called me for Toka Tuesdays. And shout out to Reef. I know he was an intricate part of making that happen as well. And, um, bada bing, bada boom. Fire, reload, YC4, around your people, my first Coleco. I've been to Pocket. Of course, we're suited on the late night tonight, Snowshirt, yes. after the show. First Street, First Avenue. Y'all want to party with me all night? I'm ready, man. Getting ready to start this new music showcase. I got a lot of new records I want to show y'all. Brand new music for the week. You know, we take it back, but we push it forward too, man. The focus of the show, yeah, we, we definitely pay attention to a lot of new artists. I mean, me being in the mixtape movement, the mixtape community for so many years, 20 to be exact, um, I've always uh, been known to break new records and break new artists and stuff like that. Started with the mixtapes. And now it's, it's it's carried over into the radio show now. And I have an opportunity to do interviews and pretty much program my own show for four hours. So, you know, in that time, man, you know, I mean, you know, you got to, in order to stay current and relevant, you know, you got to pay attention to the new artists. And there's a lot of people that have presence on the internet that you don't even hear on the radio. And shout out to Alan Shum and Alan Shum, uh, Alex and everybody at uh, AlanShum.com, you know. Their ears are, are, are really in the street and they tremendous help for me as well, you know. Some of the new artists that surprised me, um, whew, you know, Big Sean, um, Danny Brown, Tahai the Prince, um, so many, too many to name, man. I mean, you know, there's a lot of artists, you know, Square Off. Um, it's a lot, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we were the first ones to feature a lot of folks too, you know, like you know, it was early with the like the Joel Ortiz thing or first. Mac Miller, you know what I'm saying? Um, so many, man, it's just countless names, man. We, we're on our game over here. Ha ha, the return of the 50 MCs coming through a theater near you. Uh, it's the Peacemaker 3 album, subtitled Return of the 50 MCs, subtitled Mixtape 100. So I'm basically, I'm, I'm crossing three brands, I'm bringing three brands together into one super project. Um, 50 MCs, man, you know, what can I say? Uh, a lot of boom bap rap, you know, from your favorite rappers, from people I've worked with in the past, KRS-One, Fat Joe, to like new artists like Joel or Terminology and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be, uh, you know, uh, a lot of the classic vintage 50 MC appearances, but mixed with some of a lot of the new guys of today that are that are representing as well. You know.